All right, time to wrap up stage two. Um, I mean, to win, I guess, over Magnus and tires fading. It says two laps, but it says one lap here. So the rolling start, we must be starting pretty further back in the circuit. And the recommended PR now, as you can see, is up to 83.5. And yes, we are going to try to push how f you know as far as we can running stock. So here we go, win with degrading tires. And once again, it's going to be a night race. Oh, that's not that far back. Uh, we're going to be coming up on Indianapolis. Right, and they didn't mention anything about not going off track or anything like that, so... I think be okay. There's Magnus. Making his way through Arnage. And... Yes, tires are fading. So... We'll have to try to... Overtake earlier versus later and I believe if you go off track it will speed up the tires wearing down quicker so try not to go off track early if you can help it and there we go we made it through the Porsche curves it's just under 80% tires Feeling we should be able to overtake before we hit the Tetra Rouge or Mosin Strait. If we can stay on track, that will help. Ooh, seventy percent already. We're just starting the lap two or the actual lap. Yeah, I don't quite have the confidence to go flat out with the tires down to 65% traction. Because yeah, it feels very floaty. The car is drifting quite a bit more. So I'll have to try to coast a bit more. Maybe. Break a little bit earlier. Try to narrow the angle, like that, and down the straight of course we should be able to keep up with Magnus or because we just simply have more upgrades that I'm not going to be able to close the gap even. Once again, break a little bit earlier than how I've been until this point, and Give him a nudge. Yeah, let's give him a nudge. Bye, Magnus. <laughs> it's been nice knowing you. He wouldn't be the one to hold grudge, would he? <gasps> Under the moonlight here. And, uh, yeah, three hour rest in service. I wonder what that's all about. I wonder if that's gonna be the case every stage. Because it seems like kind of a almost pointless thing to have this early on. And only for three hours. And make you go, what's the meaning of this? You know what I mean? Anyway. I'm 
traction down to 20% and oh, Magnus is caught up to me. Oh. Boy, you were in a hurry, weren't you? But I think we got this one in the bag. There we go. Nice and easy does it. First place finish does pay out just a little bit more. And of course having a little bit longer rolling start probably I'm sure adds to that too. Both in terms of racing dollars and fame points. 2200 that's uh, I don't know for 4 minute 36 seconds that's not as much. For 40 seconds yeah great but <sighs> All right, so that is that for stage two. And yeah, we'll put the car in service since it's free. And that's the end of the stage. We'll have to wait for the next stage to open tomorrow. So running with no upgrades. Let's see how far we can push this. And how much do we get for completion of stage two? 20,000 racing dollars. And another five gold. All right, so that is even if you don't win the car uh, or unable to afford the gold to upgrade the car later on, at least that's 10 free gold for just running through this with not even trading any racing dollars so that's uh that's not bad that's a nice thing about these special events anyway what do you got Natalia nice work you too it's got the thumbs up from McLaren hope your schedule is clear we've got a busy week ahead of us can't say it's not frustrating to lose for reasons beyond my control yeah that's part of the racing isn't it the whole team Yes, anybody can drop the ball. But congratulations, this tour sounds like an incredible opportunity. Yes, don't embarrass yourself out there. I'm sure McLaren will be happy to let me take over the tour. Of course, Magnus always wants to have the last word, but uh, no, Natalia is gonna cut him off. <laughs> ignore him. You got some preparations to make. No, I don't want to ignore Magnus, he's the most entertaining. <laughs> Tomorrow's the first stop of our grand tour, Silverstone. Alright, so off to UK we go in stage 3. So this car should be a lot of fun at Silverstone. So yeah, that will be happening tomorrow. So stay tuned and we'll see you guys tomorrow for stage 3. Take care.